Have you ever wondered how a pipette actually works or what happens inside the pipette? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Fred and in this episode of our video series about liquid handling, we'll take a close look at pipetting systems and how to solve this intriguing mystery. Pipettes are engineered on the basis of two major operating systems, air cushion systems and positive displacement systems. These two systems have very different internal components. Air cushion systems are the most common type in labs around the world. So if you don't know which type of system you have housed in your pipette, it's probably an air cushion system. Here at Eppendorf, our air cushion pipettes include the Research Plus, the Reference 2 and the Explorer Electronic Pipette. As you may have guessed from its name, this air cushion pipette has a specific amount of air inside. When you push down the control button on an air cushion pipette, a piston pushes part of the air out of the pipette and creates a vacuum in the attached tip. When you release the control button, this vacuum fills up with liquid. In contrast, positive displacement systems work without air in the system. How, you may ask? Well, let's find out. Let's take a look at the multi-pad combi tip system. As you can see here, the piston sits inside the tip and is in direct contact with the liquid. Pulling up the piston creates a vacuum that causes the liquid to flow into the tip and pushing it down causes the liquid to flow back out. Plus, the piston inside the tip of a positive displacement system creates a hermetic seal between the sample and the tool, which helps to prevent cross-contamination. Now that you know how each system works, you might be wondering when to use them. Because air cushions might be influenced by different temperatures and by liquids that evaporate or stretch, air cushion pipettes are ideal for samples or buffers that behave like water when they are at room temperature. Positive displacement systems, on the other hand, are ideal for pipetting any liquid class with high precision and accuracy. Especially those that are hard to pipet because they are foaming like soap, viscous like glycerol or volatile like ethanol. They are also the better choice when your samples are hot or cold. That's it, mystery solved. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please go ahead and check out our other videos from this series and I will see you there.